Hello everybody. Welcome back to How to Build a B1 Bomber. Been busy today. Wanted to go over a couple things with you guys. Uh, a couple guys still had a couple questions about how I was going to lay all these up. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay all these up separate. You see where that goes? I'll put my glass in there, and then I'll put my resin in. Then I'll put my vacuum bag material around there and I'll hook it up to a vacuum and it'll suck it down. And uh, I'll let it set for about four hours, just when that epoxy gets kind of rubbery, before it gets really hard. And I'll come in here with my razor blade and I'll just trim that just to, with a big single edge razor blade. That works the best and I can just trim right along that edge. Okay, and I'll do that to all these parts. I'll do it to, I'll do these first probably, but these, I'm going to have to go all the way around, and uh, I'll let you know how I'm going to do that, I haven't quite figured it out yet, but I'll probably use like a whole bag, buddy might gave me some wing bags to, that he uses for vacuum, I think I can uh, lay that up and put this whole thing inside like a giant bag, and uh, vacuum bag it down, and then uh, same thing, I'll let it set up for like four hours, Take me a blade and I'll trim that off right there. And then I'll get both these done and I'll uh, bolt them together. I didn't put alignment pins on these sides so I can be able to pull them out. But uh, I'll, bolt, I'll, I'll bolt them together. Then I can get in there. I'll put a little bit of resin on that edge before I bolt them. And then uh, put me some, that one inch fiberglass tape. I'll work that down in there with the coat hanger and then take me a brush and tape it to a stick and get some resin on it and then I can bolt it to this one I can bolt these two together then I can get inside of there and do the same thing just I'll work that glass in there and uh, and then dab it with a brush take, take one of them uh, just disposable brushes to a stick and then I'll do the same thing with this. I'll have that all laid up and trimmed and stick that on there and bolt it. And the same thing. And my duct work. That's going to be easy. I figured that out. Okay. It's basically just got to go from this square to round. So uh, I took this piece of paper and that fits around there. And then I took, figured out how uh, big to make that circle so it'll just work and it'll be about that long. And I'll, what I'll do is I'll lay up uh, just a piece of uh, glass on a piece of formica and just get a square sheet and I'll roll it around this. I'll just make it round, just one layer so I can, you know, really work it. And then uh, I'll stick it on there and I'll stick this in this end. And then I'll wrap with a couple layers of carbon fiber around it to keep it from collapsing. A little nice easy duct work. And then, bam, look what we have, bulkheads. And you see that fits right in there too for the inside of my duct. But uh, I know what you're saying, damn, how'd that guy come up with some bulkheads? Uh, I'll show you. Let me get this out of the way. I took my mold and uh, started out with just construction paper, folded it in half like that. Uh, I use this on both of them so it actually fits back here now. But I started up here and I just took some scissors and just started working on that. I, then I'd unfold it, stick it in there, and fold it up and just kept working on it until I got it to fit. Then I transferred it to a piece of cardboard. Okay, and I stuck that in there and I've got it fitting pretty close and I uh, see I cut it a little too short so I just take the piece back on there and got it to fitting and did the same thing with this bulkhead here and then uh, just once I got them fitting real good I just I transferred them to the wood okay now this is my masterpiece and then what I did is I uh, Spread them to a piece of wood and took them to and took my router to it and just went around the edges and there's enough for uh, tuna cells right there. I got the back one 
or these are the back ones, the other ones are the front ones. But uh, they fit in there just perfect. That one goes there, and this one goes here. Then my duct will just go from square to round, right there. And it'll just be real simple. And uh, this is a motor mount for a 30 pound turbine. And I uh, had to make sure that'll fit. And got my motor mount rails on there. And we're just trucking right along. But uh, that's about what I got going today. But I wanted to give everyone a heads up on how I was going to lay them up. And same thing here. I'll lay these pieces up individually. And then when they, same thing, I'm going to let it set up for about four hours. About halfway through the cure. Then I'll trim that edge because it trims really easy when that epoxy just starts to go off. And it's a little rubbery. And I bolt my pieces up. I'll put that tape on there. Then I'll put that front on here before I put the top on and I can go all the way around this edge. And then take some spray contact cement and spray this piece of tape up here and kind of stick it up in that nose before I put the top on. So I won't have to fish that piece in there. And uh, it won't be too bad. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll show you guys how I do it, how I figure it out. But uh, I just wanted to give you a heads up on how to make them bulkheads. And now I have my master. This one's my master. I'll uh, never use this. All I got to do is screw this to a piece of wood. I already got my screws in there. And uh, broom, run it on my router table. And uh, nice, neat, neatly cut bulkheads in about three minutes. But there we go. So, uh, but I think I am. I'm going to lay up mine in the cells first. I'm going to practice on these. I've got enough wood cut for four in the sails. So I'm going to lay them up and uh, and uh, give me a little practice in too. Never hurts to get a little practice in, but I'm going to do the same thing as I did on my gear doors. I'm going to have a molded engine hatches too. But I'll show you how I do that. But uh, you guys have a nice evening. And I hope you enjoyed this midweek episode of how to build a B1 bomber. And uh, we will see you guys in the shop.